Hello everyone, Dr. Matt Ed. Today we'll talk about point of care ultrasound evaluate for deep vein thrombosis. Objectives are review lower extremity vasculature and how to evaluate for deep vein thrombosis on handheld ultrasound. Here is a drawing of the lower extremity vasculature. The red are the arteries and the blue are the veins. Starting from the top in the inguinal area, we have common femoral artery and common femoral vein. And then the femoral artery bifurcates into a superficial femoral artery and deep femoral artery. And keep going down, it becomes the femoral artery and the femoral vein. And then when it passes through the adductor canal behind the knee, it becomes the popliteal artery and the popliteal vein. The common femoral vein bifurcates into great staphens vein. On the right side, we see what the vessel looks like on a cross-section area on the ultrasound. Black are where the area the ultrasound beam is hitting. Here, the red is artery and the blue is vein. So this spot, we have common femoral artery, common femoral vein, and you'll see two black circles on the echo. Now this one here, this area, you have a Mickey Mouse sign. So the top artery is superficial femoral artery. The bottom is deep femoral artery. And the right side is the femoral vein. Continue to move down. It's the femoral artery and the femoral vein. And behind the leg, we have the popliteal vein and the popliteal artery. Notice how the orientation of the vein and the artery switches. Uh, behind the leg, you have the vein on top and the artery on the bottom of the, of the screen whereas all the rest we have the artery either more superficial or on the left side and when you're scanning for the popliteal vein the partial artery you're scanning from behind the knee here's a drawing of the lower extremity here's the inguinal area when you are scanning, you start up here where the inguinal area is, and you scan down towards the medial side and downwards. And here you have the indicator pointed toward the patient's right side. As you are scanning, you are also compressing down to see if the vessel completely collapses. The vein will collapse, and if it collapses, then that means there's no DVT. And if there's a clot, it won't collapse completely. So we start scanning from the inguinal area, and as you are going down, we'll be compressing. And here is a video. So that's the inguinal area. Compress completely. And here you see the Mickey Mouse sign. The vein collapses when you compress. And you scan down a little bit more. And you compress. Complete collapses. And it keeps going down. Compress. Collapses. As you're going down. Press, collapses, collapses, and it also collapses as well. Backing up, I just want to point out that the vein is on the right side, the arteries is on the left side of the screen. Here we have the indicators on the left side of the screen. Remember, the indicator on the probe is pointed towards the right side of the patient. So here, as you are scanning down, the vein stays on the right side. And like I mentioned before, this is the Mickey Mouse sign, the arteries on the left side, the vein that's on the right side that was compressed. And this is continues to go down right above the knee area. To look at the popliteal vessels, the ultrasound points behind the knee and the indicator now points to the patient's left. And the popliteal vein should be on top and the popliteal artery should be on the bottom of the screen. Here we will show you a video. So here you can see that the popliteal artery is pulsating on the bottom and the popliteal vein collapses when you compress. When we went down the leg, all the veins collapsed. So therefore, this patient does not have a DVT. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and look out for my next video. Thank you.